So I just received my uh, these new 18650 battery cells from 18650batterystore.com. Uh, I think I got, how many do I have here? Let's see here, five, six, seven, eight. So I can test out the two tests uh, with my battery charger here. Uh, and battery charger and just charger tester. Just test the quality of the different batteries. I got brands like LG, Sony, Samsung, Panasonic, uh, and then a few other brands that you probably haven't heard of, like Epic, and uh, it looks like H Home Depot. Uh, sounds like Home Depot, but I mean, they're trying to rip off Home Depot. H Home Depot. And then EFest is another brand as well. So I will weigh these cells. The first cell is the H Ohm symbol depot. So it sounds like Home Depot. Let's see here, let's get this on correctly. It's on grams, zero doubt. The Home Depot, the H Ohm Depot one comes in at 48 grams. Put that back on the charger. Okay, so the E-Fest one comes in at 46 grams. The Samson one comes in at 48 grams. And the Epic one comes in at 48 grams. So there's not too much variation in the um, weight of these batteries. Okay, the LG battery. Let's see how much this one weighs. Okay, LG battery comes in at 47 grams. The Panasonic battery also comes in at 47 grams. And the Eve battery comes in at 45 grams. And the Sanyo battery comes in at 47 grams, so all pretty similar. So the H Ohm Depot battery discharged 3,094 milliamp hours. The E-Fast battery discharged 3,171 milliamp hours. The Samson cell discharged 3,696 milliamp hours. And the Epic cell discharged 2,678 milliamp hours. Okay, the first cell, the red one, took 30, or discharged 3,770 milliamp hours, and it took 3,486 milliamp hours to charge it up fully. The second cell, the light blue cell, let's see, it took, it discharged 2,700 milliamp hours, and it took 2,607 to charge it back up again. The third cell, took or er, discharged 3814 milliamp hours and took 34 18 milliamp hours to charge up the fourth cell took discharged uh 3500 milliamp hours 3535 milliamp hours and it took 3373 to charge it back up again okay here's a chart showing all the results you can see that every single battery did better than the rated capacity. And here is a graph showing the results. And here's a chart showing the weights of the cells.